Good morning, greetings and salutations, YouTube. Tatum here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Oh, I think there is a fire somewhere. It's like super smoky. Yeah, it smells like smoke. That is crazy. And we're all in the kitchen. Oh, also, happy Labor Day. Mom's making some quesadillas and she has all her leftovers that she's putting inside. So, exciting. Meat. And I'm gonna cut them up. Alright, my little angels are here eating. And I'm making some coffee. Yummy. Why do you, you have a smiley face with a tongue? Put this thing together yesterday. And only Eliza played with it. And now Zach. And Eliza going to town. This thing is awesome. Plus the colors are really, really nice. Alright you guys, we just finished eating breakfast. And my rice, my sushi rice, just finished cooking. So I'm going to start adding my fixins to it. I add some granulated sugar like that. Maybe just a little bit more because there's a little bit more rice than I normally make. Like that, and then we're gonna add some rice vinegar to it. Okay, we just got inside the car. It's super like smoky outside. It's like when you walk outside, it's like walking into kind of like a barbecue or something. Um, like the air quality is just really bad. So if you guys are in Southern California or California in general, there's so many fires right now. So um, stay safe. Uh, try not to go outside too much. But right now I'm going to the grocery store because I want to... Um, Mom and I decided that we want to have kind of like a Japanese night and I'm making sushi and then she's gonna make like tempura and we want to do like tempura vegetables so we just need to pick up or I just need to pick up a couple um, veggies to do that and I also can't believe that I don't have any cucumber for my sushi so definitely need to just go out for that too so I'll see you guys at the grocery store just got to Albertsons all right I got my eggplant my cucumber broccoli and then I'm gonna get some some yams probably the red ones I think I get those. All right, I just got a bunch of corn. I think I got eight corn. Cucumber, yams, okay. All right, I need some petite peas. Is there a difference? Is there regular size peas anywhere? Uh, it's the same. Hmm. I always like to look through their plant selection here at Albertsons, because sometimes they have some really good ones here. Let's see. They don't have any diet orange sun kissed. That's so unfortunate. Here we go. This is what we need. Okay, guys, I just got home and mom is over here getting stuff ready for tempura. So I'm super. Oh, are you gonna make this into tempura too, or is that just for soup? Oh, I'm making that for soup. Oh. So she has some, some flowers, some basil, some shrimps, yum, and I have the groceries that I just got as well. So broccoli, there's going to be eggplant, um, and sweet potato. Also, here is the book that my sister made for me. Ask me to show everyone the book. Whoa, wow. Wow. There's a sides. Mm-hmm. Open it. So it's just like a container box. So it's really cool. Sorry, I got placement. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Wow. Let's look really closely at it. <laughs> and the box looks like an air the back looks like an Hermes blanket. Beautiful. That's the sides. Wow. All right, 
Alright you guys, I just got inside the car and let me tell you that when I was leaving, I saw the most beautiful coffee table and I'm gonna insert a photo because I took a picture of it. I was asking them if I could put it on hold because when you do a return at the store, they have to hold it for 72 hours first before they put it back on the floor and I was like, oh, can I just like put it on hold? I'll come in on Tuesday and like possibly buy it. And they're like, no, I'm sorry, we don't do holds on them. So now I have to wait until Tuesday um, to go and see if it's still available. So I'm going to come Tuesday morning when it opens. I really want to know how much it costs. And I should have asked, but I didn't. But I'm like, the table's really, really, really nice. And it kind of reminds me of the restoration hardware one that we got for like, it's like the outside one that's in the California room. Out, like outside. But like it has like a glass top on it. It's just so chic, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, off to off to the house you go. All right, you guys. So I also took out um, one of our shakuji boards that we used to have, or that we've had for a long time. I cleaned it up, and it looks so beautiful. We actually have a we have a rectangular one too, mom. No, we have another round one. No, we have a rectangular one. It's not round. It's just rectangular. Do we have another round one? It's not with this one, because the one, the two that we had, they are together. The rectangular one I still have in the garage. But today, Mom and I decided that we're going to make a sushi charcuterie board. So that should be really, really fun. And we're making, I'm going to make like tempura sushi, regular sushi. I have some salmon, so that's... This is going to be like a fun little thing. And mom's already frying up some stuff tempura over here. Veggies. The tempura veggies, which I cannot wait to try because I need to sample them to make sure they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Oh my gosh, we're going to eat so well tonight. All right, I have my sushi set up, ready to go. I have my rice that has cooled down. I have my... Uh, imitation crab meat, I have all my veggies, I have my Q-Pie mayonnaise, this is essential, this stuff is so good, and I have my sushi wrapper right here and right there, oh no, right there, this is my salmon, right here, some smoked salmon, hey guys, my mom keeps pulling me away from my sushi, so I can see what she's been making, and it's this delicious looking stuff right here. Oh, I'm gonna put some of those um, shrimps in my sushi too. All right, you guys, so I'm still making sushi. Mom's pretty much done with her tempura. So she's actually going to put the board together, which we are very excited about. You guys don't know how excited we are about finally making some sort of shakuji board. And I don't think I've ever seen like a sushi tempura one before. So I'm pretty excited. And we're gonna make one. So, I'm gonna set up the camera right here and we're going to um, let mom go at it with putting the board together. And we'll see how it looks when she's done. Alright you guys, this is how it's looking so far. I'm still making more sushi to fill that in, so... But look how good it looks! You guys, how does that look? I mean, I'm still making more sushi, because I still have more stuff. But this is just going to be the board already. And we're just going to leave it like that. Perhaps, I don't know, we're going to have a photo shoot because Mom's really excited about this. Look at her. Look at little Mom, we're she's excited. having a photo shoot! I'm so excited! Uh. Alright you guys, I'm finally done making my sushi, but I've run out of seaweed and I still have a little bit of rice left, so I'm going to make a sushi bake. So this little Le Creuset is perfect for that, and then I can just throw it in the fridge and we can enjoy it later, and then tonight we're going to have this feast. And the dining room proudly presents your charcuterie. So here it is, we finished it, we added more sushi, we added some more tempura, and it is looking... So good. Oh, I wish I had a lazy season for this thing. Look how good that looks. Mom also made some delicious looking soup. What kind of soup is this one? Egg drop soup with 
The imitation crab. Yummy. I also want to give you guys a quick update on my Monstera Adonsonii okay. wide form. Look at how beautiful it is. It's like literally thriving. I want to propagate it because I only have one of these plants. But look at the leaves. They're so pretty. Look at that. Look at all those fenestrations. Wow. I set up the table just a tad bit. So I have my anthropology plates that they're from the Goodwill. These are my large thrifted plates that are Isaac Mizrahi for Target from the Goodwill. And look at all this. Oh, uh, and because it's a special occasion, because it's Labor Day, I guess, <laughs> we have some sparkling because cider. Because it's Labor Day? Yes. And Mom and I have labored all day long in I did. the kitchen. To make my vision oh, come true. Look at this. Cannot wait to dig in. Even though I've already sampled everything that's on there. Alright, let me see if I can open this thing. You think it's gonna pop? Yeah. Alright, we got it open. Ooh, look at that! Some wine. Sparkling. Some sparkling cider. Cider. I love that no one else has come down yet. We're just gonna eat by ourselves. We just finished eating and I'm outside watering the plants, but take a look at all the ash that's from the fire that are on the plants. They're like all over them. It's crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna water them right now. Hey guys, <laughs> my ice cream is like right there. I'm finishing it up, but um, Thank you guys again so much for hanging out today. It was so much fun making all that sushi. I mean, like, it took a hot second. And Mom and I were, like, working in the kitchen for, like, a hot second. But it was so, so delicious, you guys. Oh, my gosh. The tempura shrimp sushi was so delicious. And, the tem like, the tempura, the veggie tempura was so good. In particular, the, um... The sweet potatoes, oh my gosh, so good. And if you guys have never had like tempura basil, it is seriously life-changing and it just adds so much flavor to everything else that you're eating. Like if you eat the sushi with like a little, like a piece of the tempura basil, it's magic. It's so, so good. So you guys have to try it if you guys ever do anything like that. It was so yummy. And the charcuterie board looked top notch. I, I think it was, it was beautiful. And it was like our first like official charcuterie board that mom and I have ever put together. <sighs> it was so much fun. I feel like we're going to be doing that all the time. It was so good. The kids loved it. The only one that didn't really love it that much was Zach because he doesn't really like any of the food that was on there. Eliza loves sushi, so he like went to town. And Cade ate everything, so uh, yeah, it was so, so good. And the soup, too. The it was egg drop soup with the imitation crab meat. It's so delicious, you guys. So, so yummy. And also, I just look really shiny and oily. I just came back from like the dogs last night or late or last walk of the night <laughs> and it's actually cool outside oh my gosh it's actually cool outside like it's not like blaring 98 degrees outside it was cool the wind was like nice and real like it was like soothing it was beautiful outside it was amazing the only thing was that it still smelled like smoke and I'm sure that the air quality was horrendous but um it was still pretty nice outside uh, and I think tomorrow, I think actually the weather is going to be not so crazy anymore for the, for the rest of the week. I think the high is going to be 98, which is still pretty warm, but I mean, it's not 116. So that is going to be a welcome change. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, oh, don't forget to check, don't, blah, 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 blah. also do not forget to check out the sale, it's Adrian.com, um, sale ends the day that this video goes up, which is September 8th, 2020, ends at night, um, what else was I gonna tell you guys, uh, I don't know what we have scheduled or really doing for the rest of the week, I'm just so happy that, like, I've pretty much cleaned the house, um, 
I mopped all the floors, like I steam mopped the floors, which is, if you guys have never steam mopped the floors, it is magic, it is amazing. It literally makes the house feel so much cleaner. Like, I used to mop, like, I used to mop the floors with like a regular mop, and that I thought already was like really, really fantastic. But steam cleaning the floors, it's life changing. It's, I don't know, it's ridiculous sounding, I know. But I feel like it's just like a whole nother level of being able to clean the floors. And I like to put some um, lavender essential oil on there. So good. Makes the house smell amazing. Um, and I know it doesn't really last that long. <laughs> it's probably like maybe like an hour or so after um, it goes away. But it's still... I don't know, like, it, it makes it feel like a sauna experience while you're actually cleaning. <laughs> I think it's for more of the sake of the person cleaning than it is for nearly anyone else, because I, like, I forbade anyone to go downstairs the rest of the night. I was like, no, let the floors be clean for the rest of the night, you guys cannot come downstairs, like, that's why I waited till the end of the night to, um, clean the floors, because I didn't want, like, any of the kids coming down to get water or anything, like, I was just like, I was gonna wait. So everyone's like pretty much going to bed and like sleeping and I'm gonna do the floors and it was fantastic. Uh, but it makes me think that at Anthropology they have, um, they have like the, I don't know if it's the oil or diffuser version of some of their scents. And I want to check and see if they have Volcano, which is like the signature scent of Anthropology, which is also like literally my favorite scent. And I want to see if I can, um... If they have that, and I want to put that in the um, in the steamer or when I or the steam cleaner when I steam clean the floors, uh, that would be amazing. Like I know, like it's a little extra, but I feel like it just makes the experience of cleaning better because you're smelling something delicious. Like that smells so good. I know that's weird, but um, anything to make cleaning a more pleasant experience, right? Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out this morning's thrifting video. The new thrifting video goes up tomorrow by an early at 7 a.m. and the vlog is up at 2. Uh, I'll see you guys all then. All right, bye.